All right, everybody. Hello. Welcome to drawing class. Today is Thursday, uh, May 7th. I say that to remind myself because I've been forgetting what day it is. <laughs> it's trash day. Um, I hope you're well. Um, I've been doing a lot of art. I pulled up this picture on the left. This is the oil painting I just finished uh, last night. Um, it's about 50 inches tall, and I'm really happy with it. Um, because last drawing class we did house plants, and I got so inspired um, that I went ahead and painted it a uh, potted plant for a couple days. But today we're gonna switch gears since we did house plants last time. I think we're gonna do a self portrait today. Um, so I'm going to draw myself, but if you're watching at home, you can go ahead and uh, draw yourself. So what you'll need is a mirror, and you'll need a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen, anything you want to draw with. You could even paint a self-portrait, which would take a long time, but you can do it. Um, but yes, so go ahead and um, pause it if you need to now and go gr grab a mirror and you want to either have a portable meter you can carry or go set up next to a mirror uh, in your um, bathroom bedroom wherever you happen to have a mirror and just set up a chair next to that somewhere where you can see your own face so me right now i can see my face um, i can see what you're seeing um, and i can see my face here and i can see the picture here so i'm gonna start a new picture. Uh, oops. <laughs> this is a, a drawing of Olive and Maple I did. They were sleeping the other day, but that's not what I want to do. I want to do that. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, let's see. I just want a regular kind of pen type tool here. Um, appropriate pencil. That should be good. And I just want black. All right, that looks pretty good. Huh, I don't like that pencil though. We're gonna go to a 6D pencil. Yeah, that's better. All right, so to draw self-portrait is a little tough. Um, faces in general are tough, but if we treat them just like we treat the plants that I drew or the flowers or the cars in the past videos, I think we can handle a face just as well. The fun thing about um, drawing faces is if you don't go from a picture, if you're going off a mirror, is that I'm not completely staying still. Um, so you kind of get a more, um, it's like it's a different challenge than trying to draw lines that are totally still. But you want to try to not move too much because I'm, I'm faced this way and I'm drawing and then halfway through my drawing I face this way that's really gonna mess things up. Another thing you wanna try to achieve is some decent lighting. So I have a lamp over here and I can shine it at my face and get kind of a um, bright light there. And that might be a little too bright. But what I would like to encourage you to do is find a lighting where one side of your face has more light on it than the other. Sort of like this, or I could do this way. So that lights up. So see how now I have a shadow side of my face and I have light side of my face. Um, my glasses actually make a little line of shadow here. Um, yeah, I think that's a pretty good. I just that's a pretty good setup for me. Um, whatever you're doing, let's see. I'm gonna turn up this volume. <laughs> I just realized I was turned down. <laughs> Woo! All right, that's a little better, huh? Okay. So once you get a pose, something relaxed, something where you can see your paper without moving your body too much. So now I can look down and draw uh, without moving my body too much. So I think this is a pretty good setup for me. So what I want to do first is look. Just look at my head. Look at the shapes of my uh, what I'm about to draw. I've got a neckline that's kind of a circle. This necklace uh, Olive made for me. 
uh, I've got my shoulders come down. Um, my glasses provide a good line and also the line of my hair here. Those are probably the strongest lines. The hardest things to do, the hardest things to draw um, when you're drawing faces tend to be the mouth, the eyes. And it's not that they're hard to draw, it's just hard to put them where they need to be. So I like to draw the other things um, first, uh, draw a bunch of uh, my face first before I put in the eyes so that I, n I can use areas of my face as clues for where to put the eyes and how big to make them. Mm. There's all sorts of um, anatomy classes you can take on exactly, you know, the eye needs to be one eye uh, size between each eye and then the, you know, you, more of a uh, analytical approach like this where you draw lines and kind of place the mouth here or the ears. Um, but that's not the way I'm going to work today. Um, that's all well and good. But um, well, how I'm going to work today is looking at my face and trying to find the easiest line for me to draw, which I think would be this line of my hair coming around, kind of swoops down like that. So that's where I'm going to start. Um, so I'm going to start at my neck here and go up and then up around. That didn't quite capture what I was trying to do here. Let's try from the top. Something like that. So again, that's just a simple sketch of my hairline where here's the bottom of my hair and this would be the top of my head and then it kind of comes around. So that might not be perfect, but it's a good place to start. Now, what's something that intersects with that line that would be another good line for me to use? Maybe, um, oops, sorry, oops, I didn't mean to, no! Oh. Sometimes I turn on the eraser on here, it's on, on, on purpose. Um, the glasses, the line of my glasses, this line right here, is about in the middle of the line from the top of my head to the bottom of my hair. The, my glasses kind of meet at the middle and it's not a horizontal line. This would be horizontal. It's more of a tilted up line. <laughs> so if this is the middle of my line here, um, I want a line going horizontal up, or not horizontal, tilted up to that. Something like that. So I'm going to erase that line and we'll go tilt it. Maybe even more tilted. Look at that. All right. Now the next thing to do is kind of use that line and I'm actually going to just draw the my glasses over to the right. So I got like that and then the other side of my glasses come out the same distance and come down like that. I'm not going to draw the bottom yet because I don't know how big to make them. But that looks pretty good. And I can kind of fix some things like the top of my head. I think now that I have the edge of my glasses, I can fix that up a little bit. All right. It's okay if my lines are shaky because I can clean it up at any point. Um, so now what I'm going to do is try to get the, so this shape, but if you look at this line of my glasses and it comes down, which I drew a little bit of that line, and I drew this line of my hair. And now maybe I'll, I should draw my jaw. So that'll give me that shape of my skin right here, if you look at that area. Um, so that's what I'm going to look at, that shape that I just outlined with my pencil. I'm going to draw the bottom of that glasses and then the, my draw, jaw line, looking at that shape of my skin. Something like that. All right, cool. That looks good. Now, my drawing, it looks like this, uh, the glasses are too low, but really my glasses are sitting below my eyes. So that's, I think, why it looks a little off um, over here. Okay, so I got that jawline. And then my chin, actually, um, this point of my chin, 
vertically lines up with this area of my nose, which is kind of where the glasses cur curve in. So where that is here, that if I could move down that area of my chin, and then it kind of comes up vertically and cuts through my glasses like that. Something like that. All right, now uh, I'm gonna do this line of my shirt. That loops around. So that hits about here and it loops around. Um, sort of like that. All right, so you can see how when you're drawing anything really, but uh, faces especially, I like to just kind of move one point at a time, move one line at a time, move to whatever is the easiest next thing to draw, whatever you think might be the... And there's sometimes when you'll reach a point where you're like, okay, anything I want to draw right now is hard. But try to make it easy on yourself. So here's my other glasses here. All right. Now, hmm, what's another strong line? What kind of face do I want to do? Do I want to smile? Should I smile? Should I frown? No, I'm just going to keep my resting, talking face. So, I tend to not close my mouth. I don't rest like this. I have big teeth, so I kind of rest with my mouth partly open. So, that's about the face I'm going to make. Um, but that's the next line I want to do. Where my mouth looks like it's midway between my glasses and, and my jawline is this point here. The corner of my mouth and it's kind of in the middle of my glasses so I'm gonna make that point on my drawing and now the other side of my mouth is sort of here and here it looks like it's on there just those are kind of measurement lines and then from there the strongest line of my mouth is the bottom lip if you look at the dark, I look at this dark line here, it goes in and then it kind of does a curve and then it goes up. So in and then a kind of a curve up to that point. Little smiley face. All right, and then the top lip kind of curves like that. I think I might have curved a little bit too much on my bottom lip. And then I've got some teeth. I usually don't do detail this early, but there. <laughs> this guy looks really funny without eyes. So I think I should put in my eyes and nose for contact. <laughs> I'm gonna put in the nose first though, cause that's still, that'll look funny. So there's my nose um, coming off of the bottom of my glasses. Uh, and then we'll deal with the shading a little bit more, but I'm just kind of putting in some details. All right, so now I think we should tackle the eyes so it doesn't look so weird. So I'm gonna take that shadow from my uh, glasses and carry it over. And then it looks like, see that shadow right here, that shadow of my glasses, and then that connects with my eye and then kind of comes down and then meets that shadow. So that's like a really cool line that's going on and I'm gonna try to match that so this kind of touches my nose so this is the shadow I'm drawing and then it goes up like that now my eye kind of sits in this area here above my glasses so like that there <laughs> all right that, that already helps a little bit uh, with making it look make me look a little bit less like an alien Okay, now I'm going to do the other uh, eye, which the corner of this one matches up with this part of my glasses. It's just above it, so I'm going to make a point there. See how I'm constructing my face using clues that I've already drawn in um, and adjusting them slightly as I see where I make errors. I kind of do that without saying it, but I'm just fixing little things. but. You can see I'm not using my eraser. I'm tr trying on these videos because I know most people don't have 
digital tablets where you can just erase anything. I'm trying not to use my eraser. And when I draw with pencil too, actually, I tend not to ever use the eraser in, unless it's a real emergency. Um, just because I like the challenge and I think it gets you better faster. All right. Cool, so now I got eyes. I, I look very happy here. <laughs> uh, so, let's get in my hairline. I think that'll get, give my face some context. So it looks like my neck went a little bit too far out, so I'm gonna stick that in. And my hair kind of comes here, and it's about this far out at this point. And then it comes up and around. So I'm looking at this shape here. I'm gonna make that one shape and then the back side. So this shape comes down and uh, hits my eyebrow, which I haven't drawn. So actually, I'm gonna go back, draw my eyebrows real quick. Oops, not the eraser. No. Okay. Um, so here's my eyebrow. I have thick, thickish eyebrows. And actually, I think my head goes in a little bit more here. Cool. All right. Now my other eyebrow, like this. And then uh, we're going to go up and around. And then this line, again, comes down and hits kind of my eyebrow like that. So I like to look at, instead of the shape of my hair, I kind of am looking at the shapes of darks and lights, uh, which I'll fill in a little bit more later, but I'm just getting a general direction of which way all my hairs go. Something like that. And then I've got, I did take a shower this morning, but my hair is still crazy. So I haven't had a haircut <laughs> in a while. Ginger went to beauty school too, and she keeps wanting to cut my hair, but I kind of want to grow it out. All right. That's pretty good. <laughs> now, uh, now's the time to maybe, maybe make some adjustments. Um, and I'll try not to use the eraser, but maybe that'll be necessary at some point. Um, so let's look. It looks kind of like me. It doesn't look exactly like me. I, it looks like my chin is a little bit too boxy. So I'm going to carve back this area, looking at my actual chin. And then I have a little, like, what do you call it? A butt chin. Oops. Oops. No, I don't want to erase all that. Um, I do want to erase a little bit of all that hair. Oops. Like here. There we go. Alright, let me redraw my jawline a little bit more downwards. And then this goes, and it actually looks like that line gets pretty close there. Cool. Alright. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start doing a little bit of the shading on my face. So like I said, I've got, I've set it up so that I have a light side and a dark side. Um, well, fix my lips a little bit. Uh, so sometimes I like to draw the line where the light and the dark separate. So that would be like this kind of, so it kind of does this. And then it hits my nose, and then the dark. My nose is bright, but it comes on this side, and then kind of over here. And then something like that, my Adam's apple here. So anything to the right of that line, I would shade in. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lightly press and just shade a middle tone, so not too dark, not too light, over that whole area. 
that I just kind of carved out. All right. Now, uh, now looking for anything darker than than the shadow on my face. Um, uh, first of all, I've got this. My eyes already darkened up, but my glasses could be thicker and blacker. So that's what I'm going to do now is kind of uh, thicken up those glasses to, to more of a what they actually are. Uh, she like that. And then like this coming around. And up this way. If anybody has any, um, hi Rochelle, if anybody has anything that they would want to see me draw or learn how to draw um, next week, please put it in the comments. Um, I would love for suggestions. I, uh, I tend to just do the things that I'm interested in because uh, that helps me to uh, talk about it more. But I would love a challenge of, of whatever you want to give me to try to draw. Um, especially if it's challenging. I think that those things are what you learn from the most. If you try something, even like this, if you say, ah, I can't do that. I can't draw a face. I can't draw my face. It's those type of things, if you give them a shot, that get you better at your craft. So just keep doing the things that you don't think you can quite nail. And even just allow yourself to do a bad job like I am now. This isn't a great portrait, no. But I'm uh, every one of these I do, I get a little bit better. Um, it's funny because uh, in addition to getting better, sometimes you just strike out and you just do a bad drawing, even if you've been doing good drawings for a while. Um, I digress. Okay, so we're going to do the, sh the angle of my shoulder here. So I'm looking at this angle. This is almost a right angle, but on its side. So oops, what I mean is like uh, like that. So if this is a right angle, it's kind of crooked. So I'm measuring that right angle here. And then it comes down to about here. That's where my, and then this side, this is a little bit higher because I hunch my back. All right. That's looking pretty good. It looks, uh, now I'm gonna do a little bit more focus on the shading. So I've got this little, little little patch of shadow right above my lip, but that's a, it's those little details that kind of define your face um, separate from other people's faces is uh, just little dips and stuff. <laughs> you don't have to draw all your wrinkles or whatever, but, uh, but getting the little things that make you, you, are important and as you draw you'll kind of learn some stuff about yourself like oh I have I didn't know I had such big eyes or um, so what I'm doing now is a technique that I've talked about before but that's coloring in the background to fix your edges so instead of erasing to make my edges smaller or make the right side of my face further in which I think it is um, I'm actually going to use the black here and uh, draw in a background. And I can also shape my hair like this. Watch this. If I just keep doing this with really dark black and just go around my hair like so, all the way around. I don't have to be too careful, except for when you get close. Um, if you get close to your drawing, you, you gotta kind of watch your edges so you don't color in anything that you don't want to. But, there. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, one thing I see that I did is draw my the this side of my mouth a little bit too big. So I'm going to go ahead and instead of trying to go over, I'm going to erase that area just a little bit. 
and go ahead and fix that um, best we can. So that's like a. Uh, that's a little bit better. Still not great, but um, yeah, something like that. All right, and um, gonna darken up my hair a little bit. Darken up the dark spots on my hair to full black, just like the background. Um, darkening things will kind of push them away. Some, and brightening things usually brings makes them pop out forward. So if you want something to look 3D, you gotta kind of alternate darks and lights back and forth. Um, so you look at like I'm doing on the shirt here. I'm just looking on my shirt and looking for the areas, the lines of dark, like that. Um, can't forget this beautiful necklace. Um, so here's. Here's a necklace. Okay. Um, I'm not going to draw the things behind. Sometimes I draw the things in the room. Um, like I could draw the symbols that are behind me or whatever. But today I'm going to keep it simple. And just. So I think this portrait, um, it's about 1.30. So I think that's about all the time I'm going to give myself on this portrait. And I'll do one more. Um, but hey, what do you think? Um, I think it was pretty successful. One thing I can do that I like to do in my portraits and that I did um, is, is to use gray and to use white um, in addition to black, if possible. White, when you use it drawing, you can kind of use it as an eraser or a highlight highlighter. So for instance, if there's anything glowing, like the top, like here on my glasses, there's a little white spot. It's actually reflecting the television that all is watching. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw that in with white. I'm gonna look for other areas where I can just kind of pull back a little bit more white, like the, uh, like this edge of my mouth that comes down slightly. I think that would be good. And then maybe uh, this edge under my glasses could be cleaned up. Um, there's one highlight in my eye that really, I think that's probably the brightest brightest thing I see. Um, and then if, I mean, if you have gray, you can do something like, um, I could look for the mid-tones like a, you know, do a little bit more shading, but we're just going to leave it at that for now. Um, one other thing I just noticed is that my teeth are a little wonky, so let's just go like that. Yeah, I give myself a little gap tooth, that's alright. So, there's self-portrait number one. Uh, th thank you, uh, Rochelle. i uh, glad you like the picture. I'll, I'll do another. Um, let me know if you want me to draw something um, next week, whether it be a plane or a type of animal or a uh, place. Um, I'm open. So, all right, let's go on to a new canvas here. And I'm going to kind of work backwards now. I'm going to go, I'm going to make my screen black and I'm going to draw with a white pencil. And uh, this is something I like to do. You can do it with a pencil. If you take a pencil like this, and you take a piece of paper like this, and if you lightly rub like this over your whole paper and fill the whole paper with this kind of, and then you can even take your finger or a towel or something if you don't want to get your finger wet or dirty and just smooth it all out. Smooth out your whole page like that and then you can do something really fun which is drawing with your eraser. So once I have that, I can go in with, uh, I can go in with an eraser 
So if I have something like that, then I can go in with an eraser. And here I just drew a little square. You see how I drew that? And then on top of that, after you do the uh, after you do your drawing with your eraser, you can go back in with your dark pencil, which is going to be darker than that light gray you did, and you can add dark lines to it. So I find that to be a very dynamic way to draw with a pencil is to use first tone your paper. It's called toning when you when you lightly gray the whole paper. You can actually use pencil shavings for that too. I, I like to do that. I sharpen my pencil, then I empty out my sharpener and just rub with my fingers the, the graphite into the paper. Try to get it nice and even, which takes some practice, but it's fun. Then you can draw with your eraser. So that's what I'm going to kind of simulate here. Um, and I want to change my lighting slightly. So I have this uh, this thing here, lamp. And this would be too bright, but maybe if I put it on the ground, that'll be kind of dramatic. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, so that's definitely more of a dramatic lighting than the last one. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to go for. Um, and I'll turn slightly, maybe like, maybe if I move like this. All right, yeah, that's good. So now I'm facing slightly to this opposite side. Now I would like to, let's see, how about animal? Yes, I would love to draw an animal. Rochelle, uh, let me know what type of animal, because I did um, a guinea pig a few oh, last week, and I have done cats. Uh, so yeah, let me know which type of animal you'd like to see, and I'll do it on Tuesday. Moving on, uh, let's see. So, similar to the last one, I'm just looking for what's the easiest way to start this. And I'm just looking at the white areas. So this is, the white areas of my face are this parts of my lip, kind of ends here, my neck. This side is probably the brightest. And it kind of stops at my eyebrow line here. So all that area. I'm not really as concerned with this side of my face right now. I'm going to try to just draw that l the bright areas. Um, so the first line I'm going to try again is this line, which kind of disappears here. You can't see, because it's so bright, you can't see this line of my jaw like you could in the last one. It blends in with my neck. So I'm going to honor that. So here we go. So here's the line of my jaw. And then it comes down, and this would be my neck here. A dog. I would love to draw a dog. Do you have a type of dog that you would like, like a breed of dog? I could do a, a Yorkie or a Lab. or What type of dog would you like? Um, anyways, let's see. Okay. Now, this is my eye. This is just such a cool l l shape here. So... So here's this is the top of my glasses, um, and then there's this shit. Oops. Um, so yeah, Rochelle, what what type of dog would you like? I would like I could. Uh, I would love to draw a dog. I actually um, just. Oh, I just sold it. Um, I just sold a painting of a dog that I did. Um, I've actually been painting several dogs. Um, people send me a picture of their dog and then I, uh, they hire me to paint the picture for them. So, uh, yes, I love drawing dogs. I love drawing animals. Um, their furs are really fun. All right, so again, I'm just trying, trying to draw that white shape, which is a little tricky, but possible. So this would be like the top of my mouth here, and then it comes down, 
below that spot, like somewhere around here. And then it kind of goes like this, and this would be where my chin is. All right, so that should all be filled in white. So this would be with your eraser. You're doing this whole part so far with an eraser. Erase, 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 erase. Something like that. Um, and it's fun. You can see how I, I'm drawing two self-portraits in completely different ways. And uh, at least for me, I like to s change it up. As soon as I get comfortable with something, switch it up and do do it differently. Because that's how you really learn something all the way is to learn it from many angles. So learn how to draw, learn how to paint, learn how to draw with your eraser. Learn how to... At least that's my theory. Though I could definitely see how practicing one thing over and over, you'd probably get really good at that too. So here's my glasses. Um, now here's the white area of my nose, which is just about that shape. And then my top lip kind of comes down and, and around like that. And a puppy, I would love to draw a puppy. Do you know what type of pup, what type of dog is your favorite type of dog? Um, whoa, I just realized I miss, oh, I must have pushed my glasses up. <laughs> it's like, what's the matter? Okay, gotta make sure to keep my pose the same. What's your favorite type of pu puppy? Do you like big dogs or little dogs? Um, I know you have a small dog, right? Do you have a big dog too? What, what type of dog do you have? Mm -hmm. All right, so I kind of draw the light area of the right side of my nose, which isn't very light, but there's a little bit. And I'm running out of light areas, so I'm going to have to switch game plans. Here's the area above my eyebrow. Um, cool. So, hmm, that looks kind of cool and spooky so far. Uh, my eyeball is the next, is probably the last area of whitish. And actually, the whole thing's not white. It's just this little area here. And then there's a mm, smaller area there. Um, I could, no, I'm not going to. Something like that. A little bit of light on both sides of my nose. Okay. So I think that... Huh. I think that's pretty good. Now I'm going to lightly sketch in my hairline and that curl of my hair coming over. That seems like a defining kind of part of my face right now with this haircut. There's that curl that just jumps in front of my face all the time. Um, all right, something like that. Cool. Hmm. That already, I think that's pretty cool. A little puppy dog. Yeah, I'll do a little puppy dog on uh, next week for you. All right, so now I'm going to do my shirt because that's something that it looks. Um, I actually might have to. Uh, I'll leave it big. This this is all white. This is very light. Uh, it's light yellow, but that's a, an area that I can get away with right now so that's what I'm gonna do this was a still all with your eraser after you tone your page you could draw like this uh, and again toning is drawing with or uh, smearing 
pencil lead all over your page very smoothly and then you can use that to uh, to uh, draw with all right let's see this area of my shirt comes around maybe somewhere around here I'm trying to get that right side of my neck here and then the shirt and the shirt goes along that way like that this type of drawing is uh, has a name it's called chiaroscuro chiaroscura i don't know exactly how to s say the word but basically it means just light and dark and you really kind of accent the lights and dark. So like the, um, it's really dark blacks and really bright light and um, not too much middle tones. But a lot of artists have done it. Um, ooh, I think that looks pretty cool so far. Now I want to get the shape of my hair, but I don't want to draw white hair on me like that. So I'm actually going to do, like I did on the last one, I'm going to do the background around where my hair would be. So if I kind of draw a line around where, where the shape of my hair is, something like that. Um, and then on the right side, my neck comes in and but then I have like this cool curl here and then most of my hair comes out till about here and it kind of kind of looks like I had a fro but I can fix that up and then draw a few of the lines again uh, with which way my hair goes. You don't have to go overboard when you're drawing hair. You don't have to draw like this, like every strand of your hair. You'll never draw every strand of your hair. You have too many. So just draw the general shape of your hair and then a few of the lightest or darkest areas. That's the way to, to go, I think. Um, see, look, I didn't draw very many hairs, but yeah, you can tell that's a... Uh, you can tell the shape of my hair from that. Um, I want to kind of m m pencil in the the side of my face over here really lightly. I don't want any, as a general rule, you don't want any area in the shadow side of your face to be lighter than the darkest part of your light side of your face. That's a general rule. I want to be really careful when I'm erasing this side because I want it to be just just barely lit. Cool. Something like that. And uh, I'm liking this so far. I'm actually going to maybe draw in my other eye very lightly, which is very risky, I think, to do. Especially now that my glasses moved again. Um, there we go. So I'm going to draw maybe the inside of my glasses. And then below them. Hmm. I'm actually going to erase that. I actually think it's better. better with less. So I'm going to leave it. I think that's pretty good. Um, as far as a self-portrait. Now what you could do after you've done the erasing portion is that you can go in. So more likely that your, your background color will be like a middle gray, something like this. So then once you're, once you're there and you've got those sections erased, you can actually go in with your black your pencil again and then go in and do all the darkest areas with that black pencil so that's what I'll do now and I'll actually do the glasses 
its shape at this point, so. And this is kind of fun. It's almost, it's almost like you have uh, more than one color, even with one pencil and an eraser. Uh, you can get black, you can get white, and you can get you know an infinite variety of gray too. But even but while I'm doing it here, we have three colors with one pencil. You can have white, black, and gray. You just have to kind of manipulate those uh, your tools. You just have to really use them and be creative. So I'm going to go ahead and darken my hair. Now I'm not sure how this will look. I, I actually really liked it just with the minimal white on black, but just to experiment. You never know if you don't try. I don't like to just leave things. Uh, for me, I like to go a little bit extra, just take a risk with my art, just a hair. You don't want to ruin anything that you've worked hard on, but also I don't want to miss any opportunities. So I'm going ahead and shading my hair. See how that'll look. Um, this shape of my eyebrow. And my other eyebrow is very dark. Um, and then my eyeball. And my other eyeball, which is like here. Eyeballs are tricky though. The, if I add that right one in, I have to be careful and really measure it out. So I should take more care with it. I'm actually going to do my eye socket first. Like this. And then my eyelid, and then the eyeball, because without all those other parts, the eyelid and the eye socket, it's easy to get the placement wrong. Okay, that's better. Um, now this little shadow above my lip. Mm -hmm. All right, something like that. And then um, now for my mouth, it's really dark under my teeth, mainly. So I'm gonna try to look at that shape of that line. And then it kind of comes down like that. And then my chin, there's a little bit of black coming out of my shirt and the line and then uh, cool I think that's looking pretty good now what's cool about this style of drawing where you're using your eraser and then you're using your pencil um, is that you can go back and forth so I, maybe I maybe it's time for me to use a little bit more Maybe I went a little bit too dark in certain areas, or too light, and I can always, uh, I can always just go back over with my eraser and erase a little bit more. Um, I could erase some highlights into my hair. Let's see, maybe just for fun, a little bit of highlights just to get that scratchy feeling, and then I could go, you know, back to the black. Um, I realize my lip is a little bit too bright. So I want to darken a bit here, and maybe uh, the right side of my nose came out a little bright, so I'll darken that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think that looks pretty decent. And now back to white. Fix that. What I just did to the lip. Uh, maybe my teeth could be in there. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I went a little bit too dark or too low on my lip. See, this is the type, the part of drawing that can get a little bit 
messy is when you start to uh, really fuss on something. I tend to think that messing around with something too much kind of, it's risky because you can um, you can really not only mess up your drawing, sometimes you can correct it, which is the temptation, but it tends to ruin the line quality if you mess around too much. So what I mean by line quality is like if most of your lines were really, you know, black and straight and then you erased a bunch and then you like, you know, went in and fussed with it and erased again, then the whole rest of your drawing would have all those nice lines, but then there would be one section that would look all, all, all messy, you know? So that's why I try to try to be mindful with how much I correct and and you kind of learn for yourself what your limit is how much you can correct without uh, uh, without totally messing it up so I'm realizing that my lip is too low so I just raised it up and that helped a lot so sometimes you'll be making the wrong correction and then you realize wait a second I'm actually making this thing work worse so I made it so my mouth it's open now so slightly different pose but, but I kind of like it uh, yeah so let's do I like that. I think that's pretty good. Um, my l neck comes up a little bit more here. Um, and then my chin maybe has a little bit more of a butt to it. Now let's do a few more lines on my shirt. And I think that'll do it for us today. Yeah, I think I'll happy with that. So there we go. Let's watch me draw it fast motion. So that was really fun drawing uh, two self portraits today. Um, this one using a toned paper where you use your eraser to draw. And the other one I did was just straight uh, black on white. Um, so yeah. Grab yourself a mirror. I did um, a couple, maybe two weeks ago, I did a self portrait every day, every night while watching TV. I just set up a mirror just to the side of my TV so I, I could look and I can kind of watch both at the same time and I could draw. And uh, yeah, so um, I definitely encourage you because you're your best model. Other people don't sit still for me. I try to draw olive or maple or ginger and they move so much. But uh, but I'll stay I'll stay dang still. <laughs> um, so yes, draw yourself, have fun, have a great weekend, and uh, I'll see you. I'll do some music tomorrow, but I'll do I'll see you with some uh, with a puppy on uh, Tuesday. I'll I'll draw a puppy and uh, Rochelle. If you think of a breed. You just type it in there because um, there's a lot of little little puppy dogs, but I'd uh, I'll just pick one if if you don't have a breed in mind. Okay, so um, yeah, take care. Have a great rest of your day.